welcome to uh, The Wooden Dummy, Section 5, Part 2. Uh, it's going to be a long one. A lot of things to go through, so uh, if you find it amusing, just uh, keep watching. So, uh, as I uh, had that in the first part, is just the snake form. Now you're just, you know, defending any kind of jabs. Now in this section uh, five, the rest of it, uh, you're gonna first of all have to know how to do a gan and a quan, and then when you obtain the center with the gan and the quan, then you do a double palm. Gan is this, and quan is this. Looks the same, but what's the difference? Quan is when you start from the inside out. From the inside and out. From the inside out. It consists of a tan and a low bong. And the, that's the quan. Kan is from the outside. That's when you take the tan from the outside and you come from the outside to the center. It's the gan. Also, same thing. It's a tan on top and a low bong at the bottom. And you do this in conjunction with your hip. You fire the hip. You fire the hip. I'm exaggerating. That's the gan. Quan. You fire less of the hip, but you come from the inside the center come out on the inside. Um, as I stated earlier, when you're doing a gan and a quan, make sure that you don't withdraw your hands and withdraw the elbow. In other words, if I don't shift, the elbow stays where in this area. Your elbow does not do this. Don't withdraw your hands and attack. Withdraw your hands and attack. Because when you withdraw, you're going to get hit. Because this is not a Wing Chun stance. This is a Wing Chun stance. So, don't withdraw your elbow and your arms. Keep them in this angle and this position. So, let's start with this here. Now, after a couple of jabs, they're actually going to hit you with their right hand. The right arm. When you hit, like the other tutorials, they collapse your attacking hand into a hyun cell. So you hyun the hand away, and you attack the ribs. Then, now they're going to attack you with the left hand. So, you quen the left hand, and you do a double palm. Now, he's going to attack you with the right hand. So, you do a time. But what happens is that he doesn't commit with the right hand. Therefore, he goes and fakes the right, and he's going to attack you to the left. When he attacks you to the left, you have no choice yet. Hands is here already. You do the ball. And when you do the wrong ball, because it's an opposite hand, you have to come here and do a lap and the double palm. Then what happens is he attacks you with the left again. So you do a gun and a double palm. Now in this case, you come down here because he's going to attack you with the right. What happens? He fakes the right. He just fakes the right. And he's going to attack you down here because he realizes that you're all open. So then you have no choice but since his hand's already here, you block this hand with a lower bong, uh, low bong and you attack the double palm. Then you close it. So what does this really 
teaching us. Yes, this form in section 5 is teaching you how to quant and how to count. And then when you quant or count, you're actually just sweeping because you don't really know where they're going to hit you. So you're just sweeping like this, hoping, hoping that you're going to catch a punch, whether it's on the top or at the bottom. Then, now you've obtained the center, so you can strike in the center. Same thing as the gun here, you obtain the center line, you attack. Quan, you obtain the center line by sweeping, you attack. But in actual reality, this person may not be a Wing Chun fighter. They may not be attacking you with two hands. So we practice two hands because we don't know which way the punch is going to come. So we do this. Now, in actual application, if there were no kicks or punches at the bottom, if I happen to catch an arm on the top, this hand would not be doing nothing. This hand would be just doing this. This hand would be attacking. And if I caught a hand here, and if there was nothing in the front, this would be just an attack. But we're practicing both hands because we don't know if the punch is going to come from the top or the bottom. So, in actual application, when you do this, Actually, this would be hitting. And then when you're doing this, if I caught something here, this hand would be hitting. I wouldn't be doing this and then a double palm. And that would take too long. That would take too long. I would just one shot because there's nothing here in this case. If there's something here, then this hand would be hitting. So, the most important thing about the section 5 is that you're practicing fakes. People are going to fake a right, halfway through they're not going to commit, they're going to punch with the left. They're going to fake a left and they're not going to go through, they're going to fake and punch you with the other side. And this is the most important part of section 5. We're practicing an enemy that does this. And how do we do that? repeat it again. We think that they're going to hit us with the, with the right. Suddenly they fake the right. They don't commit. They decide to hit us here because we're open. So what we do is this. And uh, that's section five. Have a nice day.